glossy lip balm in the shade birthday suit and a crazy contraction and now we're in the guest bathroom right now There's and it's is it definitely my mucus plug did i lose my that we've said all of that <laughs> i can finally share that we are on zillow Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another baby watch vlog of a couple days in the life um, Just like I did last time So I did that video for you guys in my last vlog and you really liked it and Each vlog I have some exciting stuff. So last vlog I went to the hospital and they thought they were gonna induce me and I turns out I just had a UTI and in this vlog I have some more stuff So I'm just doing an intro because I realized that when I started vlogging I was just I just picked up the camera and started vlogging and it didn't really make sense. Pregnancy brain over here, but anyway, I'm 39 weeks pregnant today and I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Okay, so I'll show you guys what I got from Sephora first. So this is everything that I purchased and some of them are just like repeat purchases that you guys have seen me be obsessed with for years. So the first is a new detangler. I've gone through maybe like a thousand bottles of this. This is by Bumble and Bumble and it's their invisible oil. It's a heat protectant and it's a detangler. I don't know why, but this product makes my hair grow so fast and it brushes out all the knots and I love the way this smells. Like, I just sprayed that all over my lens, like why? The next product, Oh, this is open. It's kind of weird. This is from Kopari, and I'm copying my friend Melissa Flores. It's also on YouTube, and she posted this, and it's their glossy lip balm in the shade Birthday Sue, and she put it on, and it just looks so, like, like nude lips, but glossy. Oh, glossy. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror right now. It's like cake and coconut. I actually have done videos with Kopari. Um, all their stuff is coconut based. So I'm obsessed with the brand. Oh, okay. So I thought this product was gonna be bigger. Isn't it funny when you look at something online, like even with furniture too, and you're like, I thought that was gonna be bigger, but this is from the line Kosas. And I like their products because they are clean and I use their highlighter. So I wanted to try this. I saw this on Sephora's website. What is this called? Tinted face oil. Okay, it's very oily. I wonder if it's gonna be like my drunk elephant product. So it feels really smooth. And I went darker than my skin, cause I like to do that. Um, and so that it matches my body, cause my body tans really nice. I should probably do my neck so everything matches, but like, we're just testing out products right now. We're just having fun. Like if things aren't perfect, it's okay. I'm copying my mom. I saw this in her bathroom. I think I used to have this product, like a little one but a different scent. This one is the vanilla bean. I think I used to have a different scent, um, but this is the Josie Marin whipped argon oil. I don't think I'm gonna get this open. Look at how like nice and fluffy that is. Like so fluffy. We're just gonna put it on and smell it. Nice. It's not like a super vanilla scent, but it's super moisturizing. And I love Josie Marin products. So. Then the next product I got that's a new product that I never tried is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I just needed a new liquid eyeliner to do a cat eye and I just did bestsellers on Sephora and this came up. Cause I'm always, always, always using the Kat Von D one and Too Faced makes one that I used to use that they sent me. I don't know if I would like this one. I like more like the pen kind, like the, the Kat Von D is more like a pen, so I might switch back to Kat Von D after I use this up. Um, I don't like to waste beauty products, so I'll probably use this up, but I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this. Okay, so the next two products I got in PR a long time ago, and now I buy them <laughs> because they are seriously the best. So they're both by the brand Way, and this is the body cleanser, and this is the Way scalp and body scrub. Oh my God, like, you can smell them through the packaging. They are the best scents I ever smelled. Like the best, like my whole bathroom smells like this. Like it's so nice and it's nice to have a scalp scrub. If you use product like um, dry shampoo or anything in your scalp, like a mousse or anything, it starts to build up into the hair follicles. So you kind of like shampoo won't be enough. Like you sometimes need to go in there and scrub. So I love this that it's gentle enough for your hair. And I also love that this scrub kind of turns into an oil. So not only does it scrub you, but then you feel so like moisturized and then their body cleanser. Oh my God, this smell 
this is my favorite scent in the world like I've turned this on to so many people and then the last thing I ordered is another repeat product for me that I love to use and this is by Ren skincare this is their bio retinoid anti wrinkle concentrate oil their stuff is actually pregnancy safe but definitely look up the brand and make sure if you're comfortable with it I'm comfortable using this while pregnant I only use it like once a week and then when I'm not pregnant I use it all the time um, but it's just like a oil okay so I just went in my bathroom and I got some more stuff from Alexa Prosecco cosmetics that she sent me so I got two different packages from her um, I love her lipsticks they are the best lipsticks they're kind of like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks they're just really nice so this is my favorite color by her this is Victoria she sent this to me but I bought it before too like it is just so this is my favorite nude I like that it's more of a pinky brown, like more um, natural. And then this one looks good as a blush. And then this one she sent me, I never tried until she sent it. And this is a more. I mean, I'm putting it over the other one. These two look really nice, nice mixed together. And this one's more pink. So I'll show you the difference. See that? Victoria is more on the brown side. And then this is more like mauve pink. And then she sent me the kittenish Jesse James Decker glow palette and the Jesse James Decker eyeshadow palette and I think this one comes with the brush I don't know if they're sold separately or if it comes with the brush but this is also the Jesse James Decker brush that you use with the glow kit so we're gonna check that out now okay so this one I feel like if I like this I want to put this in my hospital bag because how easy I have blush bronzer highlighter and it looks like another bronzer i want to see what the highlighter looks like i'm such a highlighter person Ooh, it's very natural okay so we'll try it we'll do maui me and coco now keep in mind i don't have foundation on so <laughs> it's gonna look funny now because i need a base and then we'll go in with rose cheeks the blush I always put blush on my nose. I love that. Okay. And then the other thing she sent me came in a, the package with the lipsticks. So I actually already tried it and I love it. And it came with a brush, but it must be in my bathroom now. But it's her eyeshadow palette. And it's just a good basic eyeshadow palette. Like it's, you have your shimmery colors, you have your mattes. And I love, I said this in my last video or two videos ago, I love eyeshadow palettes. They make your life so much easier especially for traveling you bring this and then this and two things you're done like I don't know why that gets me so excited and I'm gonna be a mom so I feel like it's just so much easier to have all of your products just condensed instead of having like a blush a bronzer a this a that like I love 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 palettes that's everything I had to show you guys so I just had a crazy contraction and now we're in the guest bathroom right now There's and mucus plug. it's is it definitely my mucus plug did I lose my Jared's fishing out my mucus plug right now no, 100%. like he doesn't want to you guys are gonna just like look at random stuff while Jared's examining if that's a mucus plug or not but it looks like the same one like if you google mucus plug that's what that looks like I know we we're watching TV I felt completely fine and then I was showing Jared an insta story remember I was just showing you and then I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm in some serious pain, but I also have to pee. Pee, and then I hear something like clunk in the toilet. So now Jared's Googling, we lost the mucus plug, now what? I look crazy right now because I was just like shaving Losing my face. Losing a mucus plug could mean that labor is imminent. What does imminent mean? Like that it's impending, like that it's coming. Well right there. It's a sign that your cervix is softening. It literally... It literally looks like a piece of toilet paper. Like I just thought it was a piece of toilet paper, but Jared said he just, cause I don't really use that bathroom that much. He said he just went and peed and it was a clean toilet. It looks exactly like the first picture of a mucus plug if you Google one. Yeah, Google image mucus plug, but I didn't get the bloody show. That's another thing. You'll probably see that term too. Yeah. Um, there was no blood. So people have been asking me, have I seen any blood or like anything like that? It was just like, like I said, it looks like a piece of toilet paper. Several days or one to two weeks before labor starts. 
one to two weeks or several days. Those are like... Or even at the very onset of labor. You felt a contraction though. I had a contraction and then said, oh my God, I have to pee. Like right after I had the contraction, I also had to pee. And when I peed, I looked in the toilet. I, like I said, I heard something go clink, like something fall into the toilet. And so I look in, I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> We're having a baby. <laughs> Everyone's telling me how low she looks and if you remember like a week ago when I used to wear this shirt it would just fit and now it like rides up because she's down here instead of up here so I think between losing my mucus plug yesterday and her being so low like when she kicks now I feel it in like my vagina <laughs> instead of like here so also I'm 39 weeks today and I believe she's the size of a cantaloupe I don't have my app in front of me, but 39 weeks, she can come. I've been saying this literally since like 38 weeks. I'm like, she can come at any time, but like literally I know so many people that gave birth at 39 weeks, so we shall see. Yeah, every morning we start on Zillow. Comment below if you guys are the same way, if you're oh God, house hunting. And so a lot of you guys know, because I said it in, I don't remember what I told you guys. I don't know if it was on Insta Story or if it was in a vlog, but we have opportunity to build, but now I don't want to build. I want to, I'm not saying I need a turnkey, but I don't mind doing like a little home improvement, but. We're exploring options. Yeah. yeah, we're exploring options. So um, Jared's brother might be building his house yeah. and it's in like the same neighborhood as where we would build. So all the problems he's running into right now are a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> And like my mom built her house and it ended up being a three-year project so Because like the land is like rough, you know what I mean? It's not like develop the land. You have to yeah get an Architect you have to get there's all sorts of a lot of people have this idea like oh, I'm just gonna build the house and it, it's uh I laugh at all of them. All yeah, the time. well Jared's a mortgage broker yeah. if you guys didn't know and he has client like there's different kinds of builds too because he totally. has clients that if you if you build a house but a builders but so if you buy a, a, a new construction house in a development where a builder already owns the land and yes. he's gonna build it all that's a good way to go it takes maybe a few months to a year at most and pretty much it goes smoothly now that's not what we're doing yeah so that's that's cool you're able to pick out like you mm -hmm. know the island how you want it you can do finishes but you pretty much have like three house styles to build and they have model homes and they have model did, and what Jared's brother did or is doing yeah. and um, he's getting the plans and stuff his brother owns the land right um, and he's building it himself so he's designing the house with an architect He's interviewing builders who are going to build the house for him, and it is a nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Really cool if you like have a ton of patience, and also it, it ends up being way more expensive than anyone ever anticipates. And Because when I said this, when I said that our house might be it, because we got an estimate from my uncle and grandpa, because they're builders. They're builders, yeah. So they told us it would be like a two-year project, and when I said that on Instagram, people were like, no, I built my house in like six months. We're not talking about... Very different. Yeah. yeah. If, if you bought it from a developer who has the plots of land already, and you just pick, all right, I want plot 16, and I want you to build me model three, but I want you to switch out the cabinets. They can do that in six months. They already have permits. They're already good to go. Water. What Water, yeah. Sewer. If you have a piece of undeveloped land, though, they have to bring some kind of sewage, some kind of power. You've got to lay a foundation, you know, and then you have to build the house after that, and all of that takes permits, designs. And you're paying for it while you're while you're um building and it's yeah a lot of people want to use these construction loans but but none of your loan gets approved unless you have all your ducks in a row for it it costs way more up front than anyone ever anticipates for a no custom home what, for a custom built home exactly if, yeah if it's being built by a builder for you and they own the land you can do it pretty inexpensive and that's a sweet fast way to do it yeah it's like a happy medium what I care more about is how long that could take take a long time because your yeah. brother probably thought he was going to start building already well yeah all those loans are suspended right now also with coronavirus good luck getting a consumer construction loan yeah so i i want our daughter in her forever home and by forever i mean like 10 years now that we've said all of that 
I can finally share that we are on Zillow looking to buy our more forever home. And I say more forever because I know me and Jared. We move every two months. Yeah. <laughs> but we did say we want to be in this house for like seven to ten years. Long period of time, yeah. We'd love to set down some roots. Yeah. So we're looking at several different states. Yep. As we always do. And Zillow's addictive. Anyone who's house hunting knows Zillow. Even if you just, we've got friends who just bought their house and they're on Zillow every day. Yeah, <laughs> from looking and everything, I don't want a complete fixer upper, but I, cause we're gonna have a baby and stuff, but I don't mind remodeling like a kitchen or bathroom. Yeah, we've seen some people who've done that and it looks like it turned out really, really nicely. And uh, where they did little changes. Yeah, like kitchens and bathrooms and stuff. And that doesn't seem like it's so terrible. Yeah. Whereas like if it's knocking down walls and ripping out floors and it, like it seems like like a gut job, you know, I feel like people think is a lot easier than it is. I don't know. Unless you have time or unless you're or living don't in- don't live there. Yeah. Or don't live there. It's just exciting because I never looked at a house before that I was like, this is going to be my forever home with my daughter because I wasn't pregnant and we yeah. just kind of did whatever we want. We were the typical single people, you know? It's just like, ah, we'll move to LA in June. That's what we said when we were living in New York. We're like, ah, eh, why it was not? May. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're looking at such things we never thought of, like the front yard, yeah. the driveway, or like- Is there a gate? <laughs> is there enough privacy? Let's see what the neighbors look, you know, just like, I don't know. I guess things everyone looks at, but it, it's, also other th like I never would have cared about a front yard. No. I don't I don't care about a front yard really. I don't spend time in a front yard. But maybe a kid will want to ride like a big wheel, you know, <laughs> something like yeah. that. So it's it gets you looking at different things. Yeah, we're looking at all sorts of things that we never thought we would look at. Yeah. It's so funny cuz this was a question you guys asked me knowing that we're only in our house for a short term, what are we looking for in our forever home and a driveway? that is, I can't explain it because it'll depend on the house and the house shape. Like right now we have a circle driveway and that's nice, but I would also do like a fat driveway. I'd also like a fence of some yeah. sort. A pool. pool. Yeah, Yeah. We, we want a pool for her because we think she's gonna be a little water rat. <laughs> yeah. Like me and my brother were. For me, I'm a kitchen person. Yeah, So. big time kitchen in I'm, your domain. Kitchen is my favorite favorite since I was a kid I love kitchens I'd go in the kitchen at my mom's house and she said that like one of my first words was kitchen play kitchen I'd bring it in the kitchen I feel like I keep almost saying our daughter's name but I feel like dot is gonna be the same way like watching me cook or making a smoothie or even just feeding her like we like to gather in the kitchen yeah so I really want a kitchen that I, I can have bar stools in. Open yeah, it's an open kitchen. The open floor plan. Yeah. Yeah. And we're casual, so I feel like we'll eat in the kitchen a lot more. Like sitting yeah. at the bar stools. Like right now we always eat in the dining room and like on the dining room table, but like that's not where, that's not our vibe. Like we're the vibe like we're cooking and eating at the same time. So yeah, like we're true Italians. That will be so fun for her too. She can pull up her high chair and be trying food. And yeah, yeah the kitchen is like, like I said, if we have to redo it, that's fine. But I want the bones to be an open right. uh, totally kitchen floor agree. plan. Hey guys, so we just got home from breakfast. Look at how big she's getting and so many veins. Like it's crazy. But yeah, sorry this vlog wasn't like so many days and we didn't do too much. I've just been in a lot of pain. I've been having so many contractions and all I do is sleep and hang out on the couch and you guys don't wanna see that. So <laughs> thank you for being patient with this vlog today. Um, really exciting that I lost my mucus plug and then when we got home from breakfast, I had a ton of contractions that Jared was timing, but none were like five minutes apart that we had to go to the hospital. So, um, yeah, we're just, who knows? Maybe the next video will be my um, in labor video. I don't know, but thank you guys for watching and have a fabulous Sunday and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.